Okay, so um, I didn't see anything jump out at me at the, on the budget, so I, I don't really know that there's anything that you want to point out. If you have any uh, anything on the projected budget that you want to bring to anybody's attention. No, thanks. So. The only thing we have is the new program next year. We're starting a new program cool next program. year. Sorry. Electrical System Technologies. Oh, well, good. good. Yeah, I think it'll be good for our community. Um, how about your enrollment? Does it continue to climb? <laughs> uh, we're projecting for it to continue yeah. to climb, yes. Based on what we're hearing from our visits with the sophomores this year, so. Great. That's good. Uh, any challenges or new things on the horizon that you want to share? There's always challenges. <laughs> <laughs> There's always this budgeting challenges, you know, with everything. and. I mean, when new programs come, finding an instructor that's going to be able to deliver the goods to our students and do it in a professional manner and one in which will uh, assist them in becoming employable once they leave uh, our career center. So, now are you are you fine tuning any of your programs with the big Intel um, project? We're, that's we've coming? actually. Um, we were we were fine tuning some of our programs prior to the whole Intel. Um, for instance, our health health technologies class, our health tech, which is our um, usually came out with an STNA license. Mm -hmm. uh, we have partnered with COTC here in the county and actually moved that up. They used to get their STNA um, license certificate, whatever you want to call it, their senior year. Now they're getting that in their junior year at the beginning, so they have that. They can go ahead and be employed as an STNA at that time and then their senior year we have two different tracks they can choose to do they can either go the phlebotomy route and take blood or they can go now an LPN route uh, which when they complete us they complete our program and fulfill the requirements if they go the LPN route they will complete our program in May they will then have to take a summer semester at COTC and then the fall and they'll actually get their LPN license in mm -hmm. December. So mm -hmm. that, that's, that's a big, that's big plus for our students in our um, community here and even surrounding communities. But we're, we're constantly looking at our programs and what we can do to kind of, not just the Intel news, but just keeping up with the changing of times and how things have been progressing mm -hmm. along in education and in our community here and even surrounding us where we can't continue to educate our students at a career center the same way we did back in 1980, 90, 2000, even 2015. We've, we've got to continue to look at ways we can grow our programs and make it something that is attractive to our, our, our county students. I know one thing I always run into and, uh, with Mr. Given in here, I had a young lady talk to me about, man, I wish I would have came to the career center, but you didn't have anything for like law school. And uh, I happened to say, so what does your home school have for that? And they said nothing. I said I always view the career center as an N one. Um, how many how many people do we know? You might have them in your households where they they go on to college, and they're not even doing what they went to college for. Mm -hmm. And I look at it as an N one, where <coughs> even if you go out into the workforce and you get into something you're not really too keen on, or you go to college and you're not, this gives you that background where you can go into a career. You have those credentials. It puts you right up on the on the list of those employable young adults. So we're doing that, and our, our big get this year was instituting the Drug Free Clubs of America program. So we've got uh, 50 to 60 students in that right now, where we drug tested all every single one of those students to start the program. They get a um, uh, like a little identification card. And then we randomize throughout the year. We do random drug testings monthly. Then um, it selects who we bring in. We bring them in. We do their drug screen right there on site. Coshocton Regional Medical Center has been huge with that and helping assist us with that. And um, we have different things in place for rewards, whether it's front of the lunch line, preferential parking, um, percentages off at some of our eateries around town. and. Uh, we had a pizza party for them. I mean, we just... They're going to work you out of a job. That's yeah. okay. Got no problem <laughs> That's that one great. So that sounds great. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, our, our big thing with that was, and I think I, we had talked with um, the 
prosecutor's office, you know, about just the, the drug issue in our community. And mm -hmm. I don't think you change that when they're already adults. No. You've got to get them when they're young adults and teach them responsibility and how to kind of carry yourself. And, and to us, when we talk to our students about it, it's a character thing for us. Um, it's you're, you're putting yourself out there with your classmates and showing you have character and talking with local businesses that'll put them right at the top of the top of the page for um, interview process. I tell them it's not going to get you the job, but it'll get you that opportunity to do that. And once we started it, we started with a certain amount, and then we've got more and more kids that are coming saying, how do I get in this? How do I get in this? Because they're wanting to take and that step. for every grade level, or for both juniors? We, junior and seniors, yes. Yeah. Anybody that wants to do it. And I think it's $67 per test. And what we did was, um, so students had skin in the game, we asked them to pay the $20 up front, and if they were in a situation they couldn't, we took care of that. But then the school pays the offset, which we got through donations with the help of the Port Authority and local businesses where we were able to raise, I think, close to $7,800, $7,900 to pay the offset of that $47 per student. That's good news. What's your success rate? Of those, every every single one has passed. Okay. Um, now, the, the fortunate or unfortunately, usually the people that get in that program, you don't have to worry about. Yeah, they're the good kids. Um, <laughs> um, so that's... Yeah, we're batting a thousand, man. Hey, man, that's all right. Though. Incredible success. Yes. <laughs> well, if the other kids see what the benefits are and right. things, maybe. And I think some kids have seen that as we've gone along. They're seeing, man, I, I can do this, and I can gain some of these rewards and different mm -hmm. things. Why not do it? Yeah. Um, anything else? That you guys I don't have? think so. Um, I think pretty good. I I don't know. That you've ever have you ever filed a counter complaint on an appeal on a board revision? I don't remember that you did. Just mm -hmm. just to give you a heads up, there there's been changes with House Bill 126. You guys are probably aware um, uh, that changes things for the schools to participate in the appeals process. And one of the big things is the counter complaint period may cause problems. Before we would send you a letter saying these are the school or these are the complaints in your school district. And then you had 30 days from that letter, letter to appeal. Okay. And before, uh, and uh, we're in trouble, the print, the <laughs> super just. I uh, read, I could feel the bottom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The machine. Oh, I got it. Um, before you had 30 days from when the letter went out. And now it's 30 days from when they file. So if they file on January 3rd, you only have until February 2nd to file. So what I've instructed my staff to do to help that is we're uploading the Board of Revision complaints as they come in. Okay. And they're so on our on the website. County net. Okay. go to Auditor and Board of Revision and scroll to the bottom and it's got all of them. As soon as they process, as soon as they get them and process them, they okay. upload it. And then, and they're named with the school district in it. So you'll be able to okay. see the Coshock and Ridgewood Riverview okay. ones and look at them. Okay. and see if you want to pursue that. Okay. Um, also, our association's trying a cleanup bill to, that will change that floating appeal period to 30 days from the deadline instead, which makes a lot more sense. Okay. But um, I, I uh, already gave you your uh, evaluation. Did you have any questions on any of that? You've probably already seen that this year, haven't you? Or uh, I don't think so. Okay. No. Okay. Um, we're not having any major construction or demolition that's going to be in tax year 2023. We have some major construction, but it's not going to remain taxable. The Genesis Center out there will end up being exempt. Um, MFM increased the assessed value by 455000 and that's included in your value right now. Okay. Um, that's in the Enterprise Zone. That's for their big warehouse. They put there right there on 6th Street. Okay. And uh, it's sitting over at the Department of Tax Equalization or waiting for the tax commissioner to approve it. I haven't seen it yet. They filed in March of this year to get that. So that will be called back. I'm assuming that they're going to approve it. That will be called back with a refund from your settlement when it comes through okay. for tax year 2022. Okay. Um, I don't have anything else for the Career Center. So.
been a pleasure yes. being able to yes. help you. And yeah, my last been a pleasure. budget commission for the school. Mm-hmm. I'm off to retire. Well, yeah. Thanks for everything you, you have done and enjoyed working with you. Thank you. Congratulations. I remember coming in my first year as treasurer and asking questions. And yeah, we're, we're yeah. there to help. Yeah, well, so I appreciate it. I've got Good a, luck to you. I've got one trip already planned. i got an appointment to start another trip. <laughs>